everyone, today we're looking at note values and rest values. Now we're going to use a pyramid method that I really like to use because it's a good visual approach and then it makes sort of learning these note values a lot easier, I think. And then in next week's video we're going to have a look at time signatures and we'll go a little bit deeper into time values, but this is a good overall view. Here we go. And just a quick note before we begin, uh, today we're looking at time signature of common time, that is 4-4. Four, four. If that doesn't make sense right now, don't worry. With the next video it will, but for now we're just having a look at note values and rest values. Let's get started. So to begin with, when we're in 4-4 four, four, or common time, we have a whole note. Now a whole note can also be called a semibrieve. They look like this. And now what that means is when you've got a whole note or a semibrieve in 4-4 four, four, or common time, it means that there's only going to be one for the whole bar, okay? That means if it starts on beat one or it starts at the very beginning of the bar, like this example, that means that there's only going to be one for the whole bar, okay? Okay, so we're going to keep referring back to this pyramid. Now, at the very, very top, we have a semibrieve, meaning in 4-4 four, four or in common time, you can have one semibrieve of note value or of audible tone for the whole bar. Next division, we have a minimum or a half note, meaning that two minims or two half notes would equal the same time amount as the top note, as a whole note or a semibrieve, okay? So in a bar of 4-4 four, four, or a bar of common time, you're going to see two minims or two half notes, okay? Now the next division down, it simply goes down again, is you've got crotchets, okay? Now you can think of them as crotcher notes or quarter notes. So at the very top, in 4-4, four, four, you're going to have one semibrieve or one whole note. That's going to take up a full bar. In 4-4 four, four, common time again, you can have two minims. That's going to take up the whole bar, and they are two minims equal the same amount of value as one semibrieve or one whole note. Next, we go down again and we go into crotchets, okay? Crotchets just have the filled in circle, otherwise, they look exactly like the minims above them, except they're filled in. Now, in a bar of 4 4 or common time, you can have four crotchets per bar, and four crotchets equal two minims, which also equals one semibrieve or two half notes equals one whole note. You can think of it like that as well. Right under crotchets, we have eighth notes or we have quavers, okay? Now the reason why they're called eighth notes is because in a bar of four, four, or a bar of common time, you can have eight, eight of them, okay? That's gonna fill an entire bar. That means that in one bar of common time or four, four, you can have eight quavers, or you could have four crotchets, or you could have two minims, or you could have one semibrieve. Or again, you can think of them as whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, and just like quavers, they're the eighth notes, okay? And below eighth notes, we're going to have a look at semi-quavers. Now, what a semi-quaver is, is a semi-quaver is a sixteenth note. You've probably worked it out by now. All of that means is that there's going to be sixteen semi-quavers in one bar of 4-4 four, four, or one bar of common time. So in one bar of 4-4, four, four, you can have all these different note divisions, okay? And these are audible note sounds. These aren't rests. We'll get into rests next. So in one bar of common time or 4-4, four, four, you could have 16 semiquavers or eight quavers or four crotchets or you could have two minims or one semibrieve or a mixture of them all, except you're not really going to be able to have a mixture of anything in one bar other than a whole note. If you have a whole note, that's going to take up the whole bar, okay? And it's going to be considered incorrect if you put them on any beat other than one, okay? And now we'll have a look at rests. So just like in music, when we can audibly hear a tone, whether it's piano, guitar, or a flute, when you can audibly hear a tone, okay, you can have a note value. That's what we've just looked at, note values. Now in music, when you don't hear anything, when there's silence or a particular instrument doesn't play for a certain amount of time, you're going to be hearing a rest, okay? It's funny to think of that way, but you're actually going to be hearing a rest or someone's written purposely or non-purposely a silence. Now we're going to look at rest note values or values of rests in time, how long you're going to hear these rests per bar, okay? And that's what we're going to go into now. Okay, so we're going to move through a little bit quicker than before because we already get sort of the main idea of how this great pyramid method uh, really helps sort of visually to convey uh, these different note values. Now, just like we looked at the note values, we're going to have a look at rest values using exactly the same method. So, in a bar of 4-4 four, four, or a bar of common time, at the very top, we're going to have a whole rest or a semi-brieve value rest, okay? And that's what it's going to look like. Now, so in one bar of 4-4, four, four, if you have that rest, if you have a whole note rest or a whole semi-brieve rest, 
you're only going to have one of those per bar and it's going to take up the whole bar of 4-4. Four, four. Again, don't worry, the next video will go into time signatures so it'll make a little bit more sense. Now, straight under that, in one bar of 4-4 four, four, or common time, you could also have two minims worth of rests, okay? And they look like this. And straight under that, in one bar of 4-4 four, four, or common time, you can have quarter note rests, okay? Or you can have crotchet note value rests and they look like this. Under crotchets, you're going to have quaver value rests or eighth note rests, meaning in one bar of 4-4 four, four, or common time, you can have eight of those. And straight under the eighth note rests, you're going to have sixteenth note rests. Okay, hard to say. Meaning that in one bar of 4-4 four, four, or one bar of common time, it's going to look like this. You can have sixteen semi-quaver note value rests. Okay, and that's the pyramid and that's how it works. So in one bar of common time or one bar of 4-4 four, four time, same thing, you can have a semi-brieve value rest or a semi-brieve value note. That's going to be a whole bar's worth. Under that, you can have two minims or you can have two minim rests. Or you can have four quarter notes or you can have eight eighth notes or 16 sixteenth notes. Or you can have any mixture of above except you couldn't really have a, anything more than a whole note because a whole note is going to take up the whole bar. That's why it's called a whole note. And in next week's video, we're going to have a look at dotted notes, how that works, and we're also going to look at time signatures. Hopefully it makes sense of everything. All right, see you again.